Hello there everybody, Oimon here and welcome back to Mass Effect. Ah, it's good to be back in more familiar territory. Yeah, I got really frustrated yesterday just after the after the technical problems I had, I was kind of riding an edge. Here's the thing, if what had happened in the game had just happened without the technical problems, I probably would have been able to just ride past it, but I, I've learnt in my life that I can end up with a very short fuse if I am not careful. So I have learnt when to take a step back and say, okay, I need to stop for this and I need to turn around and do something else. I I've learnt that measure of myself, if you will. So we're fine, but I'm uh, I'm a little warm today. It's 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 a little bit on the muggy side today. I'll be honest with you. It's not like massively hot. But it's a bit muggy today. So um, yeah, I'll be all right though. So yes, it's Mass Effect. It's Mass Effect. I love. I do love Mass Effect. Mass Effect One is good. Mass Effect Two is the greatest thing ever. Mass Effect Three also exists, and Mass Effect Genres is actually a lot better than a lot of people make out. But that's just me personally. Hmm. All oh, right. So I cannot for the life of me remember where the hell we left off uh, last time. Hello, Jagoth. Welcome back. Welcome. You've been here quite often. Me and Mass Effect. Yes, I like Mass Effect. It's 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 a good game. In fact, it's a great game. I like it. I like it quite a lot. I think it's good. I think it's perfectly good and fine and wonderful and I really enjoy playing it. So there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. So, and I just remembered I haven't got my special list up. One moment. Uh, where's my list? Where's my list? Mass Effect. There we go. Ah, uh, my cheat sheet. <laughs> I do like me cheat sheet. Okay, so, I said, you know, quotes, cheat sheet. <laughs> big, big fucking quotes. Right, so... I cannot for the life of me remember where the hell we left off. I think we were off exploring the galaxy. And had I landed here? Or had I just come off of this place? <laughs> so we're in Hades Gamma. Hang on, Hades Gamma. H H H H H H H H H H H No, don't do that. No, stop doing that. Like putting Microsoft in their Windows features. Right. Um, what are we in? Hades Gamma. Oh, cool. No, that's L. H comes before L. Hades Gamma Cacus. Huh. So, it's not on my list, so I'm going to assume, in fact, there's a very easy way to check, I'll land there. It'll be a bit annoying, it'll waste a few minutes, but if we land and we see a bunch of stuff on the map, then we're good. And we can leave and we can go somewhere else. <clears throat> I think I have been on this level actually, looking at it. Yeah, bunch of this stuff, Syndicate Hideout. Yeah, I've already been here. Alright, so we can leave. Memories! I have them from time to time. Right, so. Okay. Come here, Liz. Come here, you. I gotcha. Right, so. So we've been to. Antaeus, we've been to this, and now we have Farinata. Yes, I shall go there. Now, what have we got in the Farinata system? Ooh, there are apparently no planets we can land on. Well, now, isn't that interesting? So, we got Juntauma. Nope. Yes, you, I can survey for a Protean data disk. Surveyed, yeah. All right, um, you are inert. Um, we can land there for a quest. Right, there is another planet, ah. Survey that, rare element. 
somewhere around here. Ah, and we even have a rocky asteroid. Oh yeah, which we get light metal. Excellent. Anyway, yes, we need to land here, the MSV Ontario. Now I think memory serves. Um, this was a place for one of the little quests I got from the elevator. There's like, it's either gone missing or, um, yeah, something like that. Uh, so, there's some sort of quest here, quest related. We can board it. And we'll try to save everyone on board or at least do the right thing. If, uh, if otherwise not. What's the... There we go, quick save. All right. I see a red dot. That's never a good sign. Take all that. Right, so they're up in there. All right, then. So what kind of enemy is it? Intruders, kill the hostage. What? You must die. Nice work. Really not getting you now. I'm getting better. You get three minutes, which is quite generous, really. Uh, all things considered. I don't think I'm going to need too much more time. I have no idea if there are any chests or any items like that around here. I can't remember if you get a chance to check or not. Oh, hello. Take all that. Thank you. So, yeah. Just a few enemies. And then I think we got to talk some people down. Sounds about right, really. Quick, check. I can't remember if we get kicked off this station once we're done. Probably not, but better safe than sorry. Because if you do get kicked off the place, you can't come back. And you don't want that. Manual. Gotcha. I need to save some of my Omnigel. Right. Hello. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. Yes, Mr. Spotty Face. Will I have the charisma? I hope so. Let's not do anything we're all gonna regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Yes, I do have the charisma. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What, we're supposed to trust you? Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. All right. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. A Fifth Fleet cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. Woo! Success! More Paragon points. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. Well, we didn't get kicked out, so that's good. You do, you, on, on some of them, you do just automatically get kicked out when you uh, reach the end. Not all, but some. And it's, uh, 
It can be a bit annoying because it's hard to tell which ones are going to kick you out and which ones are going to let you stay. But hey, we didn't get kicked out, so now we get to explore without worrying about a timer. And they did a good thing. <coughs> so the only speech check I wasn't able to pass was the Corporal Toons one. Which is weird, because usually when I get to that, I've got enough speech points by then. Hmm. Oh well. I couldn't do it. Nothing could be helped. So, hey-ho, diddly-do. Let's get the hell out of here. And exit back to the Normandy. Yes. All right. Success. Oh. coming in. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Effectively now. You're welcome, I guess. I only did it because it was in my quest log. Alright, so I think that's all we can do in here for now. The rest come later. Alright, so I think it's Gemini Sigma next. Ming and Han. Well, Han is above Ming. So we go there. And zoom. Alright, so... Is it Gemini? No, 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 no. G is before H in the alphabet. Gemini, 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 Sigma, Han. Excellent, we have a planet we can land on. All right, so we need to find a ah, Paravin. Yes, which has some Asari writings on it. Nice. And, ah, Patatan. Patatanless. Patatanless? Something like that. That has light metal on it. And then we need to find Mavigon, which we can apparently land on. Landing. Ooh, level 1 cold has it. Sounds icy. Banzai! All right, so we've got debris, we've got syndicate hideout, excellent. So first we want to go sort of roughly, roughly over there. So that should be, it says O, oh, so that's probably just object of interest. So roughly, roughly in this direction. Hmm. That's weird. It's on my list. Ah! Didn't I actually have an icon on the map? Oh no, that's interesting. How rare does that happen? Bunch of dead bodies. A crate with some stuff. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often, but you do occasionally... ...will find things that aren't on any, like, map or anything like that. You just have to be... ...kind of keep your eye out for it. But yeah, apparently, here you go, there is actually something here, but it's not listed on the map or anything. Just some dead bodies of some... I don't know who they are. No real information about them whatsoever. Okay, so we've got that one. So next up we need... It's about here, I guess? Roughly, roughly. Okay. 
a light. Yeah. Woo! Bouncy. Yeah, I will say, of all the vehicles that you get to explore planets, this one's probably my least favorite. It's a little too bouncy. It's a little too floaty. Um, I guess I'd prefer it if it was a bit more like... Damn, I still cannot remember the name of the vehicle from Andromeda. <clears throat> Whatever the hell it's called. I want to say it's called like the Hammerhead, but I think that might have been the ship you get. Um, I can't remember exactly. But uh, yeah, the one you get in uh, Andromeda is probably... it's. I, no, I think it is better than this one. Like I said, not only do you get upwards boosts like you do with this, you also get forward boosts as well, which would... God, something like that would really help the Mako. <laughs> but whatever. But I think my favorite one is probably the... Oh no, that's right, it's the Hammerhead is the one you get in the in the second game, isn't it? Now I remember. Ooh, a giant lump of gold. How nice. Surveyed. Woo! Cobalt. All right, so that's that. Now we go to about here-ish. Roughly, roughly. All right. There we go. So there's a H and an I. So the H is a heavy element. The I, I think, is insignia. I can't remember what they all mean. I did. I do have a key for it, but sod it. Actually, we'll go for that one first. Actually, no. We'll go for this one first. Things we're closest. It's right there. Then we'll go for the uh, element. Watch out! Come on, up you go. Up, 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 up. Uh, yes. All right. Whoop. No, you don't. There we go. Rest and out. Surveyed. Hmm. Come on, up you go. All right, now we need to go to you. So we're going this way. Wow. I'll do something while I'm racing across the ice. I almost feel like there should be a thresher more attack here, but I'm grateful we don't have one. Believe me, I'm grateful. Right. In route. Nice. We leveled up. All right. All right, two points. Let's put one in two. Sniper rifle, first aid. I suppose a bit, a bit more health wouldn't hurt. Um, could do soldiers. But yeah, let's do soldier. And we'll do spectre training. Oh yeah, and the rest of my squad. Tali. Hello, Tali. Okay, so 
Ouch, that was my knee. <coughs> right, so, auto level you up. Auto level you up, and we're good. Now the last one is practically dead west. No, east. I always get my east and my west confused. You know, I haven't gone to the right one, because I know sometimes I accidentally go to the wrong place first, so we'll see if I've gone to the right one or not. There appears to be enemies around there, so I think I've come to the right area. It would appear to be up the hill, actually. I've gone past it. That's rather stupid of me. Gotta be way up here somewhere. Time to kill some people. <coughs> I assume. Oop, had a jail? Sure, why the hell not? So, will they destroy me? They're always claiming they do, but they never quite succeed. Down you go. Second crime lord defeated. That's both of them. No doubt Helena Break will be overjoyed to learn these two scums are no longer a problem. Oh yes, I'm sure she will be. So hang on, where do I... Where do we I hostile takeover? Where do we go? Go to for the Fortuna system in the Horsehead Nebula. Fortuna in Horsehead Nebula. I've already been to the Horsehead Nebula. I may have to go back. But we'll finish up this uh, the Gemini Sigma cluster first. Ooh, medical station. Give me some good shit. Whoops, a daisy. Three, three metagels. And the experience, because that's far more important. All right. Hmm. Nice. Oop, take all that. Take all the loot. They were clearly stashing some good stuff. Alright. Okay, now we can get the hell out of here. Okay.
And I think that's everything. We can get the hell off of this planet now. Return to Normandy. Yes. Yes, please. All right. So that's those two gone. We'll do the last one later. Now we can check out the Ming system, which appears to actually be uh, quite light. There's no planet to land on. So uh, I'll take that. Yes. So this is the MSV Worthington. Oh no, that's quest related. My mistake. There's a league medal here. No? Oh no, sorry. Wrong one. No, no, it's the other one that begins with A. Ah, you. You have the league medal. There it is. League medal, and then there's Parag. Which has a light metal. So, yeah, the only other thing, this is quest related. Ooh, that doesn't look too good, does it? It appears to be shut down state. Main thrusters are cold and it's adrift in the orbit. Let's have a look. Wop, wop. Yes, please. Let me in. Let me in. Looks like this vessel was abandoned. Everything shut down. Only basic life support is running. Good job, really. Did you hear that? Sounded like footsteps. That was no accident. The whole place could be a trap. Oh, no, that's wrong. No, can't jump up on here? That's a shame. No. Uh, so specific what you can and can't jump over in this game. Oh well, doesn't really matter in the long run, I don't think. Light, let's keep going. I don't know if there's any... Stop doing that. Guys, be careful. <laughs> Any more? All targets down. All right. Ah, I remember this one. Sort of. They say Jacob's gone. They say his brain isn't functioning anymore. And they want to shut off his machines. But Jacob's the only thing in the world that matters to me. I don't know how to help him, but it's tearing me up inside. I just feel so helpless. So damn angry. Dr. Smith gave me some meds to calm down, but I didn't take them. I can't. Not until I figure out a way to help Jacob. I won't give up on him. I won't. Well, that didn't sound very good. Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to... Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you... <laughs> Well, that didn't sound good. You see, I, I, this, this just seems wrong to me. Just glass on the floor with endless space underneath it. That, no, I could, I don't think I could get used to that. Windows, fine. Ceilings, fine. But glass on the floor just makes your butt clench. Jacob's not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. 
There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. It's what he would want. I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help, but I better warn the captain. Mm. And here is the man himself. Looks like that machine is keeping him alive. I'm not seeing any brain activity on the readouts. He's dead. This body is just an empty shell. Maybe we should shut the machine down. It's the merciful thing to do. It's your decision, Shepard. But maybe we should wait until we know more about what's going on before we do anything. So hello to Musa57. Hello. The glass on the floor is very artistic design. Yeah, I know. But it would still make my blood. Hello. Kill her, please. Can't stand up at the moment. And there's Julia. The woman who kind of sort of went a little bit nuts and killed everybody just to protect her brain dead brother. And you can turn it off. You did the right thing, Shepard. You don't even get any karma for it, which is weird. You think you'd get like positive karma for turning it off or something? It's Muzza. Am I Irish? No, I'm not Irish. I'm English. I mean, I can be Irish if you prefer. It's very easy to put on an Irish accent if you try a little hard enough. Although sometimes I end up end ending up sounding scouse because the two uh, two accents are uh, <laughs> the two accents are a little bit uh, similar. Because with scouse, you gotta put a slightly higher voice on, like, and you gotta say like after every sentence, like. But no, Irish is better. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. You're Scottish. No, I'm well. I'm just English. Uh, you deserve a follow for that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I would do a Scottish accent, but uh, I'd, I'd, I'd probably offend you and I'd lose your follow, so I won't do that. <laughs> but uh, welcome. Thank you for showing up. <laughs> Teach you how to do it. I, I've been to Scotland. Actually, I spent... Um, uh, I spent about uh, two or three months in Edinburgh once. It was a very nice place. Edinburgh is a lovely city. Yes, uh, everybody always thinks Scotland's very dark and dreary and horrible, and you know it rains all the time. Raining all the time is Wales. Um, you know, raining all the time is Wales. Uh, Scotland is just wind. Scotland is just very windy all the time. That's that's the difference. Okay, so we can mark you off now. <clears throat> All right. Edinburgh is a touristy place. Yeah, I mean, it did seem very touristy. You know, like I said, I was only there for a couple of months. But I did some of the touristy things. You know, I visited the zoo. I went to the castle. Did some shopping. Just the usual sort of touristy stuff. Okay, so we've done that one. I don't think we've been to Artemis Town yet. So where was the... the 30 quid into the castle. I don't... No, I didn't actually go into the castle. I just sort of walked around the courtyard a bit. Uh, but no, we, di we didn't go into the actual castle itself. We just sort of went into the courtyard, walked around for about five minutes and then left. Because um, we weren't... I wasn't going to pay to go in to see a castle. Look, I live in the Midlands, okay? I have been to see Warwick Castle on school trips more times than I ever care to, okay? Trust me, you've seen inside one castle, you've seen inside all of them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> ah, the August Road Cluster. So we've got... We could you do local cluster. So we've got these four places left. Why can't I imagine you doing hand gestures right now? Are you spying on me? I tend to do hand gestures when I'm talking. I don't know why. I'm just one of those sort of people. Let's go to the local cluster. To the soul system. Let's go and have a look at Earth. <laughs> ah. Home sweet home. Go visit Earth. I am visiting Earth. The tone and the way you said it just implies... <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, I do that a lot. Okay, so that would be under L for local cluster. Interestingly enough, the um, 
Everything in here is considered inert. You can't scan it for anything. Presumably because it's like, hey look, it's home. Ah, oh, isn't it lovely? You don't actually get to visit it until the third game, which is a shame, but Luna is where we want to go. Because we can actually land on the moon! Yay! Because you want to do that. Let's be honest. You want to land on the moon. Incoming! Ah, and there she is. And of course, when you're in space and you're looking down at Earth, you have to show America being, like, visible. Because if Americans look at Earth and they don't see America, they start to, like, panic. Because they're like, wait a minute, where's America? America always must be visible. Where's America? It's like, if they go to France and they don't see the Eiffel Tower, they start to panic that they're not actually in Paris. So you play the same way I do, you clear all the other systems fights before touching into the main story so you can be fully armored and weaponed up before you choose your two, along with your two companions. Yep, that's pretty much the way I do it. Well, I'm doing a sort of a 100% run kind of thing, so yes, that's more or less just the way I do it. Or, you know, as close to 100% as you can get in a game like this, you know? But, uh, yay! Earth looks good. You know what question I would ask if you know, I would be offended that the US flag isn't seen on the moon. You're gonna do a second run to max out Renegade and get to level 60? Um, well you can get to level 60, I mean I've already completed the game once, so you can get to level 60 naturally. Um, but no, I'm not gonna do a second run. I'll just jump straight to Mass Effect 2. I'm not gonna waste time with a second run. Sub that for a lark. Right. So we've got this bad boy that we can scan. Interesting fact, um, the American flag that was planted on the moon, after spending, you know, what, what is it now, 50 years um, on the moon, uh, it's actually bleached white by this point. Ah, damn it. Nah, no. Damn it, on the gel. You can get to about 50 by doing everything. I thought you could get over 50. Oh well, it doesn't really matter in the long run. But, uh... Yeah, it's a miracle though nothing runs out or dies there. No, sadly not. Especially stupidity. That neither runs out or dies in America. Good job there's no Americans in the audience right now. We've got an English person, a Scottish person, and a Canadian. I think Jagoth's Canadian. I have that in the back of my mind that he's Canadian, so there you go. Pop! Damn it, come on, die. You're about to say something very controversial. Be careful. That sort of stuff can get you in trouble. Woo! Leveled up. All right. En route. Let's head on inside. I will say, and this is spoilers if off the off chance you haven't played the third game yet, but I do like what they did with this mission, how they connected it to the main story in the third game. You played Mass Effect Andromeda and quit after you met some characters. You see, I liked Mass Effect Andromeda. Maybe it was just me, maybe I'm just weird, but... Uh, I liked Andromeda. I know that's not like a popular thing to say or whatever, but yeah, I enjoyed it. You know, enough. My second favorite Mass Effect game, which I know is going to be a very unpopular opinion. Come on, die already. Gotcha. 
Alright. <laughs> Chagos says we can no longer be friends. Yeah, well... I don't have any sunglasses, but deal with it. It's like, you know, technically speaking, this, this Mass Effect game is actually probably my least favorite of them. Um, even over 3, because despite the bad crap that 3 has in it, I still say in terms of gameplay, it's still better than this one. This this one's just a little too rough around the edges for me. You know, I mean, I'll play it, no problem. But... A toxic gas? Oh no! Mass Effect 2 is the best. Agreed. 100%. Alright. Yeah, Mass Effect 2 is the best. It, for me, in order it goes Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect Andromeda, Mass Effect 3, Mass Effect 1. From best to worst. Like I said, I'm sure that would be very controversial. I know a lot of people didn't like Mass Effect Andromeda. But I did. So, you know, just the way it goes. Oops. Bye. Lights on the optical moving fucker and die. One of the three computing clusters containing the VI is offline. Two, one, three. Andromeda doesn't deserve a rating for me. Fair enough. Talking from a story only point here, not gameplay. You know, I, I will say, I think my opinion on the Mass Effect series largely comes from a point of gameplay. Because the gameplay of Mass Effect Andromeda was actually really, really, really good. Which is why I think I rate it better than the other ones. Like, I think Mass Effect 1 is a bit too rough around the edges in terms of gameplay. Like, it's good and it kind of set things down, but it's a bit generic. Um, the story is a pile of shite. Yeah, I can kind of see that. I liked some elements of the story, but I kind of felt like we were retreading a bit too much territory with it. Um, you know, I liked the idea of, you know, growing to Andromeda. I liked the idea of exploring completely new worlds and meeting new species and stuff. That was really, really good. But yeah, some of the other elements of the story, not so much. I hated how EA and Bioware kept dumbing down the RPG elements. Yeah, I mean, that, that definitely happened in the second and third one. But I would say Andromeda kind of brought back some of the RPG-ish elements to it. Like, the RPG elements in Andromeda are, are kind of closer to Mass Effect 1. Like, you have a lot of different things that you can go for. Whoop, hello. Careful now. Don't get killed. Any more? Oop. Coming around the corner. They'll be coming around the corner when they come. Damn it. Oh, did you get him? Think we got him, Commander. Woo! Alright. But then I didn't really mind that um, the RPG elements were, you know, necessarily dumbed down in the uh, the second game. I did sort of lament it, but uh, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't like the worst decision ever. And shields! Whoops, that's the... You don't need to press that button. It's not Mass Effect 2. The problem with some of the characters and the cheap moves they used to try to make the game. I didn't like the fact that there was a feminist in the military, sanctioned group. I didn't agree with the authority that was apparently just okay. I didn't like the fact that all the world was supposed to be pretty much abandoned. Just a cheap way to go quick. And quick mission and leave. Story seemed to be a bit predictable. The RPG elements were there and the gameplay was fun. 
it would be make a game something. All targets down. Bloody kinetic barriers. They're called shields. Kinetic barriers. But yeah, I mean, I do understand where you're coming from. I mean, that kind of stuff doesn't really bother me. I can deal with a game with bad characters, trust me. Played plenty of them in my time. supposed to be the pathfinder and someone doesn't agree with you because they haven't found anything yet well I, th I think the problem with that is they kind of wanted to put like tone if you will ahead of like the story actually making sense so the reason why everybody doesn't trust you at the beginning of the game is because it's based on the idea that you need to prove your trust to them because you know you're you've been pushed into a a job you may not necessarily be qualified for and so you got to prove yourself it's they actually described it in like the um the text blurb as a zero to hero story rather than shepherd who's like already a proven military uh type person you know so they they really wanted it to feel like you were earning what you got rather than shepherd who just kind of has it hey leveled up and, you know, like I said, it's it's one of those things where you sort of sacrifice a small amount of realism for the sake of telling the story. I, I can kind of accept that. You know, stories are not necessarily easy to write, especially when you want to have certain dramatic themes or important subplots in there. It can be very hard to put everything you want to put into a story and make it coherent at the same time. Also falls under the curse of being called Mass Effect. It's gonna get compared as fuck to the trilogy. It shouldn't have really been called Mass Effect. I can kind of see that. Um, the thing is, it's one of those sort of catch-22 things. Yay, additional security drones. Here they come. But it's one of those sort of weird catch-22 things where, you know, a company will just make any old game and slap the franchise name on it. Um... Look at what Judgment's done. It's set in the Yakuza universe. It's nothing to do with the Yakuza. I've never played that series, so I, I really don't know. But yeah, I mean, it's what it's one of those sort of catchphrase two things because, you know, companies sort of slap a franchise name on a game even if it technically shouldn't have been. Um, but at the same time, it's like, well, would people have bought it if it didn't have the franchise name on it? Because people like their franchises, so it's like. You know, the companies don't do things without good reason, you know, they don't do it just because of laziness, they do it because that's just what people buy. I mean, do you remember Star Fox Adventures? That was a game that quite literally had Star Fox um, slapped on it. And um, just because they didn't think it would sell without it, you know? Burst of white noise over all frequencies nearly deafens you. Your hard suit heads up display interprets it into a series of ones and zeros. They repeat again and again, blanketing all frequencies until the lights on the final VI cluster flicker and die. Specialization class achieved. Here's fun. This, if you put it into a binary to text editor, literally translates into the word help. This is just saying help over and over and over again. And interestingly enough, Someone does help, but we won't find out about that until Mass Effect 3. I don't buy the Dinosaur Planet was made in a Star Fox game because they didn't believe it would sell. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to buy it because that is actually what happened. Like, it's, it is actually what happened. 
people buy games from the devs in your opinion like if rockstar is making a game people buy it because it's rockstar and they know it will be a good game um on the one hand yes that is true but that isn't necessarily a universal thing like some people prefer a franchise i mean look at um the recent release of bloodstained which is like you know it's literally castlevania in every way but name because it's also the thing that people, um, often to the gaming industry's detriment, will always try to classify a game as a certain genre. So they'll classify something as a Metroidvania, they'll classify something as a Dark Souls-like game. And it's these classifications ultimately draw comparisons, and so it's little wonder that so many games ending up uh, being like each other. So any games that sort of has a slight dark souls designed to it is automatically compared to dark souls and so they sort of start leaning towards into being more like dark souls because they want to be compared favorably and it just the whole thing just ends up running around in bloody circles <sighs> could you squad screen the bonus says yeah 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 yeah. all right so we're going to shock trooper or commando so we get increased health increased damage protection immunity and barrier ability and improves the adrenaline ability or commando improves damage with all weapons improves the immunity ability improves maximum ability improves assassination i'm going commando that sounded better in my head but uh, oh balls the game just crashed <laughs> ah! okay hold that thought i'll be back just a moment let me boot it up again oh fuck i'm gonna have to do that last section again aren't i you know I think that's happened to me before. I don't think that's the first time that's happened to me. Okay, come on. Yeah, let's get into it. Oh god, this is fucking boring. There we go. Ah, fucking game crashed. Uh, it's so bad! Okay, come on. Let's do this. Let's do this. I've got to go through this fucking last section again. God damn it. Ah. <sighs> Bear with me, guys. Ah, playing old games on modern systems. It's not good. Uh, okay, right. Let's find a way in there. Yup, 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 yup. All right. Uh-oh. Why are you goddamn weapon? Is that it? Alright. I think we got him, too. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Make all the fucking quick saves. Dear God. It was a rare game at the time Nintendo was... Well, yeah, but don't forget, Dinosaur Planet was released at, like, the very end of Rare's association with Nintendo. And it's like... I don't think it would have been a really big thing at the time. I mean, there are a lot of rumors about whether that is true or not. I read that it was actually true. That they put Star Fox on it because Nintendo really wasn't confident in it just selling off its own merits. It was a massively hyped game in the media. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's one of those games. I remember I got that along with a few other games at Christmas, and it, it really was a good game. The weird thing is, it's one of those odd games. It's a, it's a Zelda clone. No, I can't make another quick save. Almost to a fault. Um, like a bad fault, I'd say. <laughs> uh, and that's, that's that could be like a dangerous thing when no you clone a game. I think it's more like the reason was so that Nintendo would know Microsoft was gonna going to get bought by Rare, Rare was going to get bought by Microsoft and they did it so they didn't have to give up a new IP. Maybe. 
I mean, Dinosaur Planet was in production for a long time because it was originally an N64 game. All right. Can I actually get through this without the game crashing? Yes! Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're still alive. We're still here, guys. It's fine. It's working. All right. So. Got a bunch of equipment we picked up. That's nice. We'll deal with that later. Mark all is red. Yep. Codex. Fuel entries. Yep. Right. Squad stuff. Yeah, so we picked Commando, so now we can have this one go much further up. Which I think was... was it Soldier before? I can't remember. Whatever. You're hungry? I don't know. Fucking eat a Snickers then. I don't know. Okay, so we've got that. Spectre training. Do that. Fitness. Should make some food. Good idea. I had some food before I uh, started streaming because obvious reasons. <laughs> I needed to. Uh, okay, so I saw rifles already at the top. What's assault training? We'll go assault training. We'll go. Let's have commando. We'll have spectre training. We'll have fitness. Excellent. Autoed. Ooh, assassination. Autoed. Excellent. You had a frozen pizza. Look, I, I heard it's warm where you are, Jagoth, but I think you're supposed to cook it first. Frozen pizza's nice. <laughs> I know you did. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> of course I was being sarcastic. Who, who eats a frozen pizza? Except maybe Garfield. All right, return to the Normandy. Yes, please. Okay, so that's the local cluster done. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Now, where are we going to go next? And zoom on in. Don't even get a congratulations. <laughs> All right, so the only ones we got left are uh, the Artemis Tau cluster, we got Pinnacle Station. Novaria and the asteroid. So, Argus Row, Horsehead Nebula, Argus Cluster. Let's have a look in the Argus Row Cluster. So we got Hydra, we got Phoenix. So let's check out Hydra. I don't necessarily know if I'm going to do. Um. Wait, what was the name of the cluster? Argus Row, that was it. it was Argus Row, so it's all the way back at A. So we got Phoenix, Hydra. Apparently, there's supposed to be another one, but I haven't got it yet. Okay, so let's check out Hydra. Um. No, apparently I just missed it off the list. That's a shame. All right, survey you. Nice. Um, anything on you? No, you're all apparently missing off the list. That's there can't be anything there then. Um, Metagos I can land on. Canrum has a Turian insignia on it. Nice. And they are. Let's land on Metagos. Ooh. Patching it through. This is a general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Critical system failure. Losing power. An emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. Life support. An emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. Well, that sounded bad. Quick, let's go rescue them. All right. All 
Okay, then. First we go north. For a... There. Anomaly, which is actually a turn insignia. I feel slightly worried just driving over lava because it's like, wouldn't that technically like be kind of bad for the vehicle's tires? Come on, get up the hill. Excellent. Recover said artifact, and we're in. Woohoo, you're in the signal, and I leveled up again. Blimey, leveling up all over the place today. Whoop, that's the wrong button. Okay, so now we want to go over to there. Right. So we'll just clear off the planet. Interest. Incoming. Way. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. All right. Gotcha. Off we go. We need to go south. Soup and sandwiches. Ooh, good combo. I'm gonna go to about about there-ish. Roughly, roughly. Soup and sandwich is a good combo. I had a bacon sandwich for lunch myself. With brown sauce, because of course it's like I'm pretty sure it's treason to not have a bacon sandwich with brown sauce. <laughs> yeah. Gotta have good old HP. Somewhere down here. Ah, there it is, just on the edge of the screen. Need to have a deep fried pizza. No, I think I prefer to keep my arteries as they are, thanks. What is it with you Scottish people and deep frying everything? Honestly. I always thought that was a cliche and then I found out it was true. <laughs> ah, here it is. You're probably deep frying that sandwich you're having with your soup, aren't you? Oh my god, what a shout. <laughs> Do fried bread. Well, truth be told, I'm not actually that fond of eggs, so I don't really have fry ups all that often. So it's entirely possible to have a deep fried sandwich. Yes, I'm sure it is possible to have a deep fried sandwich. You guys deep fried chocolate for crying out loud. Bloody deep fried curly whirlies. I've actually heard that you guys have deep fried Donna kebabs. 
which is just insane. Come on, get up there. Ah, shit. Ah, shit, you fucker. Get your ass up there. States have got fuck all on Scotland. Oh, yes. I am well aware of that. What was it that joke Frankie Boyle made? Considering the Scottish diet, imagine how fat Scottish people would be if it weren't for all the heroin. Something like that, wouldn't it? <laughs> Mock the Week was never the same without Frankie. He gave that show the edge it needed. Uh oh. Yeah. We do deep fry a lot of stuff, but then we also make stuff like the States do. We have this place called Bread like Meat Bread Burgers. Fuck me. It's a trap. It's a trap. Don't worry, I got it. Woo! Look, I have absolutely no problem with extraordinarily unhealthy food, okay? Preaching to the choir, mate. <laughs> Heading to position. Alright, so is there anything we can actually check with this bad boy, or...? Nah, I guess not. Yeah, okay, let's get the hell out of here. Alright, so that's the Hydra system out of the way. I don't eat much in the way of chocolate, sweets, or cake, but you do like fried food and takeaway. Heart attack or cancer? <laughs> it'll be one or the other. Usually it's one of the two these days. Look, life is too short. If you can't enjoy your food, there's no fucking point. <laughs> like, literally. Okay, then, let's see. Got the Phoenix system. Which apparently also has Pinnacle Station in it. That's a thing. Do I want to do Pinnacle Station now or should I save it for later? I may save it for later, but I will at least explore the system because there is some stuff you can get in here. There's Patashi, which has Rare Earth. Uh, there is apparently an asteroid kicking around somewhere. Wait for the blink. Come on, where are you? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Surveyed. All right. Um, we got. Where is it? You have a light metal on you. Wrap up all the other systems before you do anything else. Yeah, I mean, what I do is I pretty much go to every system except the ones... I mean, I even visit the ones that actually have, like, a plot world in them. Uh, but I don't actually visit the plot world. I basically just scratch everything off my lists. Um, 
I mean, I've already been to the Citadel. Here's the thing, I'm probably not going to go back to the Citadel until after I've rescued Liar, because that's usually the first one that I do. Um, so we can actually go to Tuntau, and we can land. Land. Alright. I'll probably pick Liara up first and then head to the Citadel. Because all in all, I think Liara's mission is probably the easiest of the lot. I mean, half of it involves you running around in the vehicle anyway, so it's really not an issue. Okay, so first up. Yeah, we want to go that way. It's the best way over there. Your Mass Effect 1 is running in the background. <laughs> well, you know. No reason why you can't play it while I'm playing it. Mm. Alright. Up we go. Not too steep. I hope. Pretty much doing the same thing as you before I started watching you. Just clearing the systems out one at a time. Yeah, I mean, I think this is the third stream for Mass Effect for me so far. Uh, I'm probably going to end up being at least like 10 streams for Mass Effect 1 and God only knows how many for Mass Effect 2, 3 and Andromeda. I do plan to go through the whole series. Eventually, I may take a bit of a break between 1 and 2. Um... But yeah, and I, for the record, I only stream Mass Effects on Mondays because Mass Effect Monday, I guess. Uh, you know, because why the hell not? It's 15 to 20 hours on Mass Effect 1. Yeah, something like that. So is there a thing on top of here or is this one of the, no, this is one of the empty ones. Just a random pyramid. This is one of the ones that you can't interact with because... Reasons, I guess. Oh no, wait, there's that. What's that? Ooh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we're in. Nice. Sorry, writings. Lovely. I feel like there's a thresher more around here somewhere. Large open plane usually indicates a thresher more. But not always. 30 or so in Mass Effect 2, about 40 to 50 in Mass Effect 3, DLC included. They're so much fun. Yeah, the DLCs, funnily enough, the main game in Mass Effect 3 is, is okay, but a bit sort of stunted. But yeah, the DLC in Mass Effect 3 was actually really good, especially the Citadel DLC. I think that's probably my favorite DLC of the whole series. It is like legitimately good DLC. Um, it's usually one of the ones I wait until the end because the Citadel DLC on um if you play them all back to back it feels like a good ending well yeah i was literally just about to say the the citadel dlc for mass effect uh three really does feel like um like an epilogue to the whole series which i think it was always kind of designed to be it is kind of a shame that you have to play it before the quotes ending of the whole thing because it really did feel like a nice entertaining fun way to like end the whole trilogy um and you know i think that was the devs were finally sort of let loose from the choker of ea because it was like well you know we don't care the series is over now you know make one more dlc and then we'll maybe we'll leave you be for a bit but uh but yeah i mean the leviathan dlc is interesting as well because the leviathan dlc has some good creep factor to it like that's a really it's, it's like the, the way that DLC is set up is very nice and mysterious, and I like that. Um. The Mass Effect 3 ending is what it is, but a friend of mine gave a different view is what if it's a bittersweet ending. The weird thing is, I remember the first time I played Mass Effect 3... 
And the ending, it didn't actually bother me that much. It still doesn't, really. Um, I mean, I do understand at least why people get so pissed off about it. Because it, it does actually leave so many plot holes and doesn't answer so many questions that it probably should have. But I did think... Like, a lot of people complain... This is spoiler alert if you haven't seen the ending for Mass Effect 3. But a lot of people complained about the destruction of the mass relay system at the end of the third game. But I thought from a thematic standpoint, that made a lot of sense. Because the, the whole point of the mass relay system is that they were devices created um, by the Reapers to um, specifically to control the te technological progress of all life in the galaxy. So their destruction, you, you know, whilst questionable from a storytelling standpoint from a thematic standpoint made sense because it was the destruction of all reaper technology you know so yeah I, I don't know that just made a lot of sense to me but i i understand from a storytelling standpoint why people didn't like it that much it's just one of those things doesn't that only happen in the destroy any well <sighs> It kind of does happen in the other endings as well. It's just not as... Well, it's not as destructive. Actually, here's a question. When you first completed Mass Effect 3, what ending did you pick? Roll over, please. You picked Destroy. Interesting, so did I. In fact, most people I talked to said they went with Destroy first time round. I mean... <coughs> I mean, first time I played through the game, I had all three options. I actually had Destroy, uh, Control, and Synthesis. I had all three options available to me, but I still went with Destroy because my thinking was, I have spent the last three fucking games trying to destroy the Reapers. I'm not going to turn on that now, you know? So, uh, yeah. I mean, which ending is canon is obviously left open to debate, which is probably for the best. Not that it really matters in the long run, let's be honest. Um, after recently playing the series during full Renegade, my view on the game as a whole is about stopping the Reaper invasion at any cost. Exactly. And that's why I picked Destroy. You know, because even if it, like, kills you and everyone else, the whole point is you set out to stop the Reapers from destroying the galaxy... So, you know, you want to destroy the Reapers. So, I mean, yeah, that was why I picked Destroy, personally, but, you know, that's just me. Uh, so there it is. Oh, is this... Is this where we find Rex's armor? I think this is where we find... Yep, yeah, this is where we find Rex's armor. Boom. All right. Stop saying go, 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 and actually go. No, they're not going to come over here, are they? Shame, that would be fun. God damn it, Tally, I almost shot you. Wow, what the? There goes one. Woo! What are you doing to me? Where are you? Hold still. 
you. Jeez Louise. Gotcha. Gotcha. Ah, come on. Gotcha. Ooh, leveled up. Is that everything? Well, every one. Yep. You'd already committed genocide to the Geth, Rachni, and well, Krogan is as good as dead, so why not the Reapers too? <laughs> yeah, I, I can't play genocide runs on games. I just, I don't do that kind of shit. It just makes me feel bad. Is it weird that you don't feel bad? Um, weird? No, not necessarily. I mean, it is only a game. Uh, you don't have to feel guilty about killing thousands of innocent people. It's only a game. Hanging the back of the safe with a suit of armor, obviously made for Krogan. Seems worth us rusted debted. The Turian must have scoured security here for some reason. There's nothing else of value. Ah, yes, Rex's battle armor. That at least completes his little quest. Yeah, jokes, I did feel bad. <laughs> but I had to. Yeah, I mean, I've no, I don't think I've ever done a Renegade run on this game. I always play Paragon. It's like, I mean, I was playing Bioshock um, sort of last week, and I always did a, a Save the Little Sisters run on that. And, uh, you know, any time you get the choice to be the good guy or the bad guy, I always played the good guy, because... It's only a game, but, you know, I, I'm still just not really capable of deep being a dick. The only person I might play Renegade with would be uh, Ashley, because she's just a bitch. I, don't, I really don't like Ashley. I've mentioned this before, I don't like Ashley. The first time I played Mass Effect 2, I wiped out the guests, so I would guarantee myself sex with Tally. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> uh, do you have to wipe out the geth in order to sex Tally? <laughs> Thought you could do it without. No, okay, fair enough. <laughs> All right, time to go talk to Rex. Off we go. It was just your justification for committing to genocide. Fair enough. Sex is a good justification for a lot of things. Oh, Rex, I have a surprise for you. So, we've got Saren on the run. I found this armor. Does it belong to you? Let me see. Yeah. This is it. Hard to believe my ancestors wore this piece of crap. But at least it's back where it belongs. Thanks, Shepard. I might be starting to like you after all. You're getting soft on me, Rex. Yeah, that's better. All right, so that's Rex. Yeah, Rex's family are nice. Got ticked. Okay then. Up we go. Right, so we can mark off Phoenix system. That's good. And we can mark off Rex's. So we've done Tally's mission. We've done Rex's mission. Still got to do Garrus. I also still need to decide if I'm going to bother romancing Liara or if I'm going to bother romancing Caden. Or if I say, if I have a completely celibate shepherd in this run. Which I have done before. Okay, squad. Oh, that's right. I'll wait until I've got everybody in the group. Make a quick save while I'm at it. There we go. All right. 
<sighs> Zoomed out. Alright. We explored the Attic and Beta Cluster. So, Artemis Tower will check last. Let's check the Horsehead Nebula. We've got Pax, Strenus, and Fortuna in the Horsehead Nebula. Huh? Where's H on my list? Horsehead Nebula. First up, Fortuna. Oh, Fortuna. Ooh. Right, let's do this. All right, so we got a Turian Signier on this place. Oh yeah. Um, oh, that's where we land. That is Red Earth. Land. All right, Garrison Tally. Welcome aboard. Let's do this. Banzai! Whee! Bubble, bubble, bubble. Okay then, right, so we're starting there. Hmm, what's the best way to do all this? Engineering outpost, huh? Well, okay then, so what we'll actually do is we'll leave that one for now. We'll go this way. Ooh, it's a very dark planet. I like it. It's moody and it's atmospheric. Nope, I think I need to be a little further south than that. Be careful now. Go around. There it is. God damn your bouncing, Mako. Can't you keep your feet on the ground? And the head doesn't have that problem. He hovers. Alright. Ooh, uranium. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Squad. Alright. So let's do Spectre Training, Commando, Fitness again would be nice. I guess we do Assault Training. Okay, oh yep, and Squad probably needs to be leveled up too. Level up everything! Okay, so we got you. Now we need to come down about... Here ish. All right. Crest the hill. Ooh, nice open plain. Probably a Thresher Moor in the middle of there. I can never remember where the Thresher Moors actually are. <laughs> uh, they just sort of show up. I was close. Over the hill and far away. Hey, careful where you're going. Oh, this way, please. God, this planet is dark. I can barely see anything. Okay, so we've got an anomaly, we got that. Technically, we've got something here as well. So if we go there, 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 and then straight down, we can probably pull that off. Nah, no, what are you doing? No! Don't, don't, don't be like this. Don't be like this. Come on, get off your back. I will say, it's self writing. I approve of this. It's about the only thing about the makeup I like. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, maybe you could remind me, what the bloody hell is the name of the vehicle you get in Andromeda? I cannot for the life of me remember what the bloody hell it's called. You can't remember that either? Oh, never mind. <laughs> For some reason, I, 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 this one's called the Mako. In the second one, you get the Hammerhead. You don't get one in the third game. But I can't for the life of me remember what the bloody hell it's called in Andromeda. And I don't know why. Probably because I just haven't played it enough. I mean, technically speaking, I've only played Andromeda through from start to end once. I've played it a couple of times, but second and third playthrough never really got Securing all the way one. through. I want to say it was called like the Hunter or something, but I could be thinking of the ship that you get, which might have been called the Hunter. I, I can't remember the names of these things. I haven't played it enough for it to properly sink in. The ship was called the Tempest. Yes, thank you. Yes, the ship was called the Tempest, wasn't it? Little car is called the Nomad. Yes, thank you. Google is friendly. Yes, yes. Google, Google is our friend. All right. So apparently, we need to work out my equipment. Oh, yay! I only need. Couple more of those, few more of those, few more of those. All right, anything good here? Nope, nothing there. I will take that. What's that kinetic buffer? Hmm. Here's a joke for you. Is Google male or female? It's female because you can't write anything without suggesting other writings. Okay. <laughs> Uh, no additional comment. <laughs> That'll do. All right. So we've got cryo rounds four. Do we have any cryo rounds five? Have we got those yet? Doesn't look like it. Sentry rounds. Proton rounds. That would still be what we've got. Okay, so that's fine. How about you guys? I do kind of wish we had an auto equip on this stuff, but apparently we don't, so there you go. Any armor for you? Ooh, no, that's not very good. Oh, wow, we really don't have much armor, do we? Uh, no armor for you, which is unfortunate. Definitely give you that. Ooh. Terminator. All right, sure, you take that. Oh, in fact, even better. Tsunami. Oh, 
All right. Let's get some omni gel out of all this. Actually, I should probably shouldn't only gel everything, should I? Thinking about it, I should probably sell some stuff too. So we can only gel you. I'm gonna gel you because you're low level, so you won't be as useful. Eh, we got enough spare omni gel. Mostly do hacking manually, it doesn't take too long. Omni gel is mostly just useful if you fuck up the hacking. Is it for the mad puzzle on Novaria? Which one was that? Refresh my memory. Was it Novaria? <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's like to do with some sort of core? Whoops. Is that Novaria? You know, honestly, I can't remember. Whoops, that's the wrong one. Might be Liara's, it's one of the two. I can't remember, but yeah, I mean, if you have a spare stock of about 200 or so Omnigel, That'll usually serve you through most situations, you know, puzzles, you know, hacking stuff that you can't quite complete, or, uh, things like that. Ouch. Let's get comfortable now. <clears throat> Yeah, I think I have a vague memory of what you're talking about. I can't remember specifically. It's been a long time since I actually played Mass Effect 1. That's one of the reasons why I decided to stop playing it. Because I was like, hmm, I fancy playing Mass Effect. I can play it on stream. So I was like, sure, let's play it on stream. <laughs> Blow it all up. Bloody prefab buildings, honestly. Hello. Oh, is this where we're meeting? What's her name? Yes, it is. Hello again, Commander Shepard. I owe you a debt of gratitude. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. Uh, I'm not quite I killed done them yet. because they deserved it. Now I'm placing you under arrest. Surely you don't think that necessary. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. These crimes are hardly worth your time. If you press the issue, my assistants are very well equipped to deal oh, with Oh good, them. I have enough points. This gang has a reputation for drugs and slaving. It's too late to change that. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps this organization has been so tainted by those two idiots that it cannot be redeemed. If I disband the gang, I walk away freely. I have not come so far to be arrested. I would die before going to prison. I would most certainly kill before going to prison. Now, do we have a deal? You're free to go. I don't ever want to see this gang again. If I do... You won't. I'm not so foolish as to break my word to a specter. Now, if you'll excuse me, my men become nervous in the presence of law enforcement agents. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. Goodbye. Thank you. And despite that, you can actually just walk in here and have a look around. I can't remember if there are any actual 
things to do. And because she survived, I think you actually get to meet her again in Mass Effect 2. I think she's on Omega, isn't she? I have a vague memory of that. Ooh, yes, hey, look. Oh, great kit. I'll take that. Some med gel. I kind of wish it did the Mass Effect 2 thing where if you're full on med gel, you just get credits. <laughs> that would be much better. But then money's not as hard to come by in this game as it was in Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 2's money is actually kind of tight. They might... They like they really managed to uh, rein that in quite well. I regret playing biotic in this run. I should have just gone soldier. Yeah, well, soldier is the best class. You know, I know it's sort of standard and generic, but it's just that kind of game, unfortunately. A couple of medi gel. Take that. Ooh, hard decryption. Gotcha. Sweet. I don't think I've ever played as anything other than a soldier. <laughs> I always play as a soldier, I always play Paragon, and I usually have my characters looking the same too. So, uh, yeah, I more or less just play the same game over and over and over again. But that's just what I prefer to do. Don't judge me. All right, so we're off. Return to the Normandy. Which reminds me, I should head down and speak to... Open. I need to speak to the requisitions officer. I should have talked to him before, but I didn't think to. Open up, please. Open, 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 open. It's annoying that you have to go through two of these friggin' scenes in order to get to speak to him. Looking for supplies? I'm doing a Paragon run. I could just restart. I haven't done that much, but I just finished a Mass Effect playthrough from 1 to 3 Renegade, so I probably should play something else. Yeah, there's plenty of other things. Maybe you should give Andromeda a go again. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. I think it is worth playing a little bit. Alright, let's switch to selling. You just uninstalled that the other day. Oh. Well. Suit yourself. Ooh, yay. Lots of money. Wow, I've got a lot of stuff here. I can get a lot of cash out of all this. And then eight. Excellent. That gives me some good stuff. So now I can get the Spectre Master gear on some things. It's expensive, but good. So we definitely want the Spectre Assault Rifle. Because compared to mine, this thing's a beast. So I'll buy that. And then we've got armor. Hmm. No, that's not very good. I don't know what else to suggest to you to play, but then again, I don't really know what it is you've got, so... Oh yeah. That's right, I just sold them all. I'm sure I can find some spares. But there are plenty of fun games out there, which reminds me, we're all kind of on the last day of the Steam sale, aren't we? Wow, we're in the sort of last 48 hours. I should buy some games. Need the Spectre Master gear. I'll buy it piece by piece. I've got the Assault Rifle. That's like my primary weapon, so I may as well just stick with that for now. I couldn't see the... Is this Spectre Master armor? I forget. Um, 
Do you want the armor? I don't think the armor was available. Um, it didn't look like it was. So, what's that Nebula Fortuna? Pax and Stratum. Well, we'll have a quick look at Pax, but we don't want to actually land there yet. Let me get rid of Fortuna. Come on. So the only thing is a place called Veles, which has some Asari writings. So we'll leave Novaria for now, and then we check out Strength System. <laughs> Quickly use the console command to give yourself a million credits. I do that from time to time. <laughs> If I really, 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 really want to. What's the command? I think... What is the console command? Is it... I think it's the, um... I can't remember what it is. I think, you have, first, you have to be out of the map. Yeah, I'd have to... Yeah, I'd have to look it up, too. I think you have to actually activate it by editing one of the... Uh, text files in there. I think... Honestly, I can't remember. You, yeah, if you look it up on like Game FAQ or something like that, um, you'll find it easily enough. Aha! Ah, you can scan the ship. Now, interestingly enough, you don't land on the ship. You scan it. Paint trail of radioactive particles, pop the exhaust from some light nuclear engine drive. Leads towards the nearby planet of Exowam. Pink trail is inert. Yeah, so you basically scan that, and that allows you to land on this planet. I want to say it's like the at button, or the hash button, or it's one of the buttons, but you have to... I can't remember if you just press the button or what you have to do. It's something like that. There's a lot of stuff on this planet. It's a very busy place. I don't know. Maybe I can get it to... Mm. No, I can't remember what button it is off the top of my head. Like I said, I think you have to actually, like... Do something for it or, or something I, I can't remember exactly but uh, yeah like I said if you check game FAQ there are a bunch of cheats for this game you just gave yourself one million <laughs> cheater You beat the game legitimately once, I'm free to cheat. That is exactly how I feel about Dark Souls. <laughs> I beat the game legitimately once, so I'm just going to have fun with the game and cheat the rest of the time. That's a Thresher Mort. Don't go rolling over yet. Uh oh. I got really hurt and I didn't even oh realize God. it. All right. W um. Damn it. Gotcha. All right. So now we go down to this one. Up in that direction.
Or a biotic with an assault rifle? Yeah, I probably don't want to mess with that. Especially if it's a biotic with an assault rifle and infinite weapons. <laughs> Bad combination. Soldier equals best. <laughs> Soldier is the best kind of tempted to just restart your Paragon playthrough. You know, if you look up carefully, there might even be a cheat command that allows you to switch your uh, your uh, settings. I don't know if that's actually true or not, though. Here's this person who was trying to mark the nearby mineral deposit when he died or was killed. Well, don't worry. I will finish your job. points for weapons into assault rifles and sniper rifles. I mostly focus on assault rifles, but I do do a bit of sniper rifling as well. Um, that's quite fun. But yeah, pistols and shotguns I don't really use all that much. Woo! If this is what I think it is... Periods, there's no one left at this camp. The area is still functioning. There are no signs of former occupants. The camp's computer notes several locations of interest. Yeah, this actually marks mineral locations on your map. It's the only planet where you get that. The only planet where it actually marks mineral locations on your map. Which is nice of it. Mm. I like to play as biotic for something a bit different. It's fun to see all the powers. The powers of Mass Effect 2 and 3 worked a bit better. Yeah. I think two was better, especially seeing as playing a soldier also got you a few um, biotic type powers. I mean, they weren't really biotic powers, but the fact that you had the different ammo types, uh, that was nice and fun. You know, that actually led a, lent a little bit of strategy to the whole thing, rather than just like equipping different mods. Played Soldier every time because you like heavy armor. Yeah, I get that. Heavy armor is pretty good. Be going was I got the trap. Game event a unique in law explanation for not having ammo counts. EA makes them remove it and it's later installments to make it more like a generic shooter. <laughs> yeah, you're a bag of wank, mate, that's why. Um, I'll be honest with you, I actually kind of like the ammo system in the second game. <laughs> I, I kind of prefer it. I mean, truth be told, I don't really mind. Uh, it, it's effectively the same deal. You know, whether you have ammo or whether you just have an infinitely regenerating thing, but... Yeah, I have no problems with the ammo system in the second game or third game or any of that stuff. I think it adds an element of strategy to the game because it's like... You have to actually look for ammo whilst in the middle of a battle and that can actually be kind of tense and exciting and a little bit fun. I'm not saying it's the best thing ever, but I kind of like that. 
Oh, incoming. There's a lot of stuff there. What's all this about? I love the internet. But yes, I will most certainly agree with your statement that EA are a bag of wank. I mean, they completely fucked over the Dead Space series. First game was a great, if slightly generic, survival horror game. Second one was more or less more of the same. Expanded the lore and the universe and all that stuff, but it was very enjoyable. And then the third game happened and it again got turned into a generic third person shooter. What series slash devs haven't EA killed? Um, about the only company the EA haven't actually killed is themselves. Because they keep absorbing people and IPs and just everything from every other games company on the face of the planet in order to prop themselves up. But they're dying. Thank God EA are actually dying a death right now. With you know all their loot box bullshit and all that stuff it's it's slowly killing them Perimeter secured. all right anything at all fair enough I have no idea why we're at this base, but it here, it is here, and it is here for good reason. So, there must be a reason. I just don't know what it is. Ooh. Yep, I'll take that. Oh, and there's something up there I can get to, too. Nice. Even DICE is a shell of the company they used to be. Every, any company that EA interacts with at all is just fucked. Average encryption, yep, can break into that easily enough. Ah. Take the data pad. Now do I have to take that back to Kohoku? Ah, no, that's the other guy. Okay, well, I can drop that one off before I go see Liara. Or maybe after I see Liara. I haven't quite decided which order I'm going to do things yet. Liara will definitely be the first one I go to, though. Definitely. All right, so... I think that's your lot for this planet. We're off. All right, so crush you off the list. Nice. Okay, that's a horse head nebula. We check that one. We check. So I think the only thing we got left is the Exodus Cluster and the Artemis Tower Cluster. Artemis Tower check will last. So we've got Exodus, we've got Asgard, and I think, isn't Utopia... I'm pretty sure Utopia is... Hang on, where are you on my list? 
yeah, everything here is inert. This is actually where Eden Prime is. You can't land there, though, for obvious reasons. But it does look lovely from the air, so that's nice. So, yeah, Asteroid X57. We can do that. I'll probably do Liara, then I'll do this. Travel to another system. Yes! Actually, is there anything here? I should be looking at it. Is there anything... No, actually, the asteroid is the only thing here. Okay, so we can cross that off the list. We'll keep you for later. So, yeah, actually, yeah, I didn't have to travel here at all. Okay, so the Arrow's dig site. I'm pretty sure I've done all the rest. Because I sort of started there, went round there. Went round through there. So, okay, hang on. Let me just check my journal. Person data this sorry writing is bad bad valuable minerals privateers yeah you are gonna go back to missing survey team explore the excavation site travel to the and did I miss that one the Antea system in the Hades Gamma cluster hang on a second And as I started again, apparently. Missing survey team. Long entries indicate the research team discovered something nearby excavation site. This one I checked this planet. I must have forgotten to look up something. Uh, I may have need to double back onto one of the planets. Um, this tree bit I could land on. Yep. Okay. Alright, hold that thought. Looks like I've already crossed it off the list. So I must have been on this planet and just not looked something up. Because I'm an idiot like that. Research base excavation site. Crash probe. Stable transmitter, terrain wreckage. So I think that's where we gotta go. Hmm, how the hell did I miss this? Did I just forget to explore something? I probably forgot to explore something. I do that sometimes. Brain just doesn't engage on certain things. I'm going over two hours already? Yes, I have. Ugh. It's weird, I could have sworn I'd done this. But yeah, I remember doing this. Why didn't I not mark it off? Right, gonna get in about this. See you later, mate. Yep, yeah, well, thanks for the follow. Hope you will enjoy any future content I make. As I said, I play Mass Effect um, every Monday, but I also play other games throughout the week as well. So uh, feel free to drop in whenever you have the time. Cheers. See ya. Sure, I checked this place out. Okay, well, we'll have another quick run image around here again. Maybe something didn't flag. Or maybe I just didn't go in there. <laughs> It's entirely possible. <sighs> so, yeah, yeah. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. We should check out the excavation site. Could be some answers there. Yeah, so 
Check out the excavation site, which I'm sure I went to. Maybe I just forgot. Maybe something didn't flag. Something might have just not flagged. Or maybe it glitched. Also entirely possible. Who knows? Well, the enemies are dead, so... I need to destroy that. Clear. Ah! That's probably what I did. All turn into husk. Yeah, that's what happened. So what happened was I looked over at the doors, saw that they were locked, assumed that they would stay locked, and so I just left. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Problem solved. <laughs> you know, I'm sure I've done that before while playing this game. Okay, well there's a, another one crossed off the list, so that's good. Mm. Grab a few more items out of this place. Because I am a derp. Right. Okay, so privateers, that's the one. Yeah, I gotta talk to him back. He was missing marines. Find the recon team. Sparta system in the Artemis Tau cluster. Ah, I haven't actually checked that one yet. But we can do that. We can definitely do that. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. That, that is a very strange thing, isn't it? It's like you come in here, there's a bunch of husks, they say, oh look, this weird artifact that must have turned them all into these monsters. And then you look across the room and you see what is clearly two locked doors and they only open if you actually walk up to them. Like that is such a weird sort of programming flag. You know, it's like you if you see two locked doors, you're not going to you're not going to approach them because they are locked. Why would you go near a door you know is locked? So, yeah, that's a slightly weird thing, but uh there you go. Problem solved. Right, so now we do need to go to the Artemis Tau Cluster in order to do another set of oh, another set of missions. Well, one mission, and do I want to start the main mission straight off, or should I nip back to the Citadel? So we go to Artemis Tau. Sparta, Athens, Athens, Athens it is, because you're all right. So Artemis Tau. All right, uh, so we have, you're inert, you have a gas deposit. You have a gas deposit too. You have nothing, and you have a tree insignia. Excellent. So that's Athens. Next up we want... Now, interestingly, Knossos is where we actually need to go to find Liara. Uh, but there's also a bunch of miscellaneous stuff we can get in here too. So, you're inert. You're also inert. Apparently there's a couple of asteroids kicking around here. Where are you? Yeah, okay. Alright. 
So you were, you're a heavy metal. And you are... Medallion! Woo! Alright, so Therum. Now Therum is where we need to go to find the R. We'll go there later. You're inert. You have a gas deposit. Excellent. That's all we've got for, for Gnosis for now. Um, Mist on. Off. Okay, so oh, actually, no, we need to scroll down a bit on that. There we go. Now we can actually see. So that's the planet we can land on. Apparently, there is. Oh, five leaves. Oh, gas deposit. Nice. I'm pretty sure completing the project where you run around scanning all the minerals. I think that does actually have an effect on the second game. I think it gives you a small boost to the starting value of all your uh, uh, your collected stuff, I think. There it is. Surveyed. All right. One hidden metallic asteroid. Right, now we can land on Shargela. Shargela. And tally, thank you very much. Okay, so that's where we need to go. We've got you, so you're first, I think. Right over the hill. Got it. That could have been complicated. <laughs> no, that's the wrong button. Oh, I did level up. Woo! Alright, more spectre training. More fitness. More assault training. And more combat. Actually, combat armor would be pretty good too. Also leveled. Also leveled. Nice. All right, okay, so we've got you. Next up, we need to go down about here-ish. Come on, round we go. E, come on, go a little. Thank you. A little bit to the right. A little bit to the right. There you are. Three. Alright, 
So there's something over there. Probably a thresher more as much as anything else. Far enough? Ah, there it is. I think it's in here. Anything here? Oh, what's that? Thank you. Yes, please. I shall recover it. All right. Actually, how are we getting on with the... Uh, so we still need three more data discs, one more medallion, and an ID tag. We've got 25 light metals, 21 rare earths. So actually, we only need one more heavy metal. That's cool. Heavy metal. It wasn't heavy, it was rare. Alright, so we've got some sort of plot thing here. Is this the Cerberus facility? It's one of the things I liked about the series where they take little elements that weren't really big in the first game, like Cerberus, and they just say, no, actually, you know what, over the last two years, they've kind of grown into this big uh, organization and stuff. Which I think is nice, the way you can just build on a system like that. Because it totally wasn't planned. I don't think any part of the Mass Effect trilogy was planned from point to point. Probably to the detriment, actually. People really should go in with a plan of where the fuck things are going. I'm not saying you need everything down in the whole nitty gritty, but 
You do at least to know, need to know the start, the middle, and the end. All right. Who are you and why are you in here? Apparently you're pirates. God, I love the Master Gear, it's so good. Like, absolutely no bad shit happening at all. These weapons are so good. Right. Upstairs. Not for long. Gotcha. All targets down. Damn right they are. All right. See what goodies we've got. Nothing up here? Hmm. There must be some reason for all this. Is this not the Cerberus facility then? So what the hell is all this? Must be here for a reason. Gotcha. Oh. Discover evidence and sorry, leaving these slavers that Oh yes! Yes, 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 yes. That's the woman on the citadel. There are two ways you can do that quest. You can either talk to her, I think, after you've done one of the post Citadel main quest line. Damn it. Or I think memory serves. You can either talk to her after you've done like one of the major quest areas, or and she like gives you the quest to go and kill her sister, or you can just stumble across her, kill the sister anyway, and she just thanks you for it. I think she. Yeah, I think she comes back in, like, the second game as a bad guy and gets killed, so... Yeah, there's that. Alright, so there's your lot. Let's get back to the Normandy. Alright. Alright, which means we only have the Sparta system left. Lovely. Excellent. So once we've done Sparta, the only thing left, whoop, too far. <laughs> oh no, we, wait, we were in the Sparta system? No, we're in the Macedon system, that's it. Macedon. Asteroid cluster. And Prothean data disk. You're inert. You are also inert. You I can land on. You have a gas deposit. You have a rare earth. Yeah, you I can Commander, land on. I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Ooh. Let's check it out. Garrison Tally. You're my two. You're the only two I care about. Rex is awesome too. Yeah, Rex is cool. Pretty much the aliens are cool, the humans are lame. I do wonder if that was like done on purpose or something. There's a distress signal, there's an anomaly. 
Okay, so first one is about here-ish. Hang on a second. Valuable minerals. So we've got, so we need a heavy metal. Oh, there is a heavy metal on this planet. Yay! I'm missing the ranges down here too. Sorry, diplomacy. Oh, yes. are awesome, the humans are just boring as fuck. Especially Ashley. I hate Ashley. Everyone hates Ashley. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I mean, this is the thing. You know, it if I have to choose between Ashley or Caden, Ashley is a xenophobic bitch who just absolutely hates aliens because, I don't know, daddy issues or some bullshit like that. Caden is just boring, you know? And I will happily choose boring over just awful any day of the week. I mean, even in the second and third game, the human characters weren't very good. I kind of like Jacob, I will say. Jacob from the th second game was alright. Miranda was a bitch, but at least she was better than Ashley. And I suppose um, Jack was fun. I suppose technically he's not part of your crew, you know, part, not, well, not part of your team, but Joker is always good. So I think, did I get the, so yeah, that should be it. Hang on, where is it? 6 of 18, survey's complete, yay, I did it, woo, surveyed. All done, all nice and good. But you can keep surveying stuff because that gets you more experience, so you might as well. It's about there -ish. You know, I do think, I don't know whether they couldn't do it because of the engine or something, but I do think they missed a small trick. Like, You've got all these meteors raining down, and you can hear them like zipping through the atmosphere and everything, and it's actually very dramatic, very nice. They never actually hit the planet. And I think that could have been an interesting thing to do, you know, like maybe actually have tiny little meteors impacting near your area, you know, so... But uh, they didn't do it. Like I said, maybe it was an engine thing, or maybe they were going to, they didn't have time, or something, I don't know. So many reasons I could think of. Alright, so we got you. Now we want to just go straight north.
Okay. Whoop, I passed it. Heading to position. Ooh, dead body. All right. Like they were here by the yeah, you can't like turn the beacon off though, <laughs> or destroy it or anything. It just seems like such an odd thing. Yeah, I just leave the beacon. That's fine. All right, back to the Normandy, and we are off. And that. I think is every single area in the whole game. So there we go. Or at least every single area in the whole game that I can currently get to. Um, some of the areas, I think about half of the areas are actually locked off at the start of the game. You have to unlock them via various things. So let's head back to the Citadel. Hand in some of those quests. Three quests. Two on the Citadel main area, one in the, um, no, one in the Presidium and one in the, um, Ambassador's area. It's going to take me a while to get there. You'd think they'd have put a fast travel system up here. But apparently they didn't think of that. All right. Citadel stations. Oh yeah. I don't think I'm gonna get to Liara's dig site today. <laughs> ah, let's take my squad. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Good for him. I'm sure he'll choose some good music. All right. Okay. So we need to go to the Presidium, to the Council Chambers, and we need to go to the Embassy. Now maybe Alliance I'll swing by this shop. That a Geth incursion into the Armstrong cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. You're welcome. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. The long elevators. Maybe I should install that fast elevator mod now. I don't know, it almost doesn't seem worth it. Alright, let's go, 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 go. I think maybe I'll just nip into Spectre requisitions. Maybe then I'll have the Spectre armor here. Hello, 
Hello, Commander. Show me what you got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. <laughs> All right. So, Spectre sniper rifle, shotgun, pistol. Okay, sniper rifle. Yep. See heavy armor. Hmm. See, it's not got as good damage protection as the one I've currently got. I mean, it has better tech biotic protection and shields, but. <sighs> Buy that at least. Okay. Biotic amp. Solaris amp three. Hmm. Sure, I'll buy that. I'd buy that for a dollar. Nah, this stuff's not going to be as good, is it? Alright, well, I could buy... I could buy another assault rifle for one of my squad members. That could be fun, or I could buy myself a sniper rifle, or I could buy both. Right, let's get myself a sniper rifle. Do I want to buy them a an assault? Can they even use? Yeah, of course they can. I you probably would be able to. Sure, why not? All right, let's do this. Ooh. So I've got Combat Scanner 4, or Combat Scanner 5, sure, why not? Nah, I don't want that. Sure, I'll take Cryo Rounds, why the hell not? Hmm, interesting. Take anything that is cooldown reduction attached to it. Right. We really need to get some proper Turian armor. Hers is crap. Uh, Quarian armor, even. Hello, Commander. Show me what you got. Alright, so we can sell this stuff. Uh, 
That'll make me a good chunk of cash. Nice. All right, go back to buying. So we didn't have armor, human, 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 quarian. Five, eleven. Yeah, that's better. Okay, we'll buy that. Hmm. I really don't know if I want that. Because, I mean, the one I've got is good for damage protection, but it's also less shields. Eight points. You know what? I will take that. Because why the hell not? No, that's not very good. There we go. Slightly better armor for Tally. Alright, so now we can go... Okay, we need Presidium. Uh... No, wait. Yeah, Citadel Tower, there it is. Getting confused here. Three hours of stream, I'll only do that to you. Kahoku! I have news. Not good news, but General still news. Frank, Commander, any word on my missing men? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a thresher maw. A thresher maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait, my unit wiped out, and nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Woo! Level up. All right. Hello, Garroth. I am afraid I also have bad news. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. So sad. Alright. So that's another quest knocked off. Okay, back to the teleporter. Uh, uh, Presidium. And uh, we want the embassies. I think I'll swing by some of the other shops, see if we can get some better armor. Welcome to the Presidium. You're welcome. Alright. You're over here somewhere. Hello. I know you. You're Commander Shepard, the Human Spectre. Is there something I can do for you? You're Nisana, right? I ran into your sister, Dahlia. Didn't end well for her. What? Are you saying she's... Dahlia's dead, Nisana. And I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? You wanted your sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. 
I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. Could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Bonus. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. For as brief as it was. All right. Excellent. So, um, I think, obviously, we got main mission still to do. Data disk, size of battle, and the fan. But that's pretty much every side quest I can do at this point in the game. Only thing left to do is the main missions. And as I have previously stated, it will be Liara that I save first. Because that's just the best run. So we'll have a quick run around the shops. Um, because why wouldn't I? Uh, yeah, financial district. I don't think there's anything else I need. But yeah, then we'll go and save... Yara. And of course, then I need to make the decision about who I'm going to sex. I haven't quite decided yet. Always lean towards Ahead. Liara. It is good to see you again. Would you care to see some yes. of Show me your items. Uh, oh, Non-human armors, yes, please. All right, Turian armors. Medium Turian armor. Can you give me quick that? Oh, that's yes, definitely buy that. Light quarian armor. Slightly lower on the tech biotic protection, but I will again accept that. Nice. All right. Oh, we can't equip it. God damn it! You're useless. Spent all that money on you. Um, what about you? Can you do it? Fifteen. Oh yeah. Ooh, yellow. Why is it being yellow? Um, okay, so Garrus can't do your hold up. Tactical armor. Equip medium armor, there we go. So, oh, he's only got one point. And I need another three thousand. Well, I can always do that next time. Tally. I don't think you've even got an armor thing, have you? No, you already got to. No, you don't have an armor thing. I can also level up you. Two points here. We'll do you and you. Ah, if only you had one more, but I can keep the armor for later. So that's not a problem. Show me your items. Armor upgrade, armor upgrade. Nope. Okay. Show me your items. All right. No, it's not quite so good. Mm, definitely not. Ooh, I'll buy that. Licenses, licenses, licenses. I thought I already bought all those. And then we'll nip down to the wards. And then we'll have to call it a day. Would you believe it's almost six o'clock already and I've got to go cook food. Food is very good, and I are hungry. Markets. Hello, expat. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Show me what you got. All right, what do you have? Ooh, unique item, medjail upgrade. Definitely want to buy that. All right, so you've got. Maybe I'm a human. Nope, not as good as what I'm wearing. Nice try, but no dice. Isn't there also... 
Yeah, the medical clinic. I don't think there's anything too specific I can buy in there, but... I mean, this is the thing. You can buy stuff like this, and it does kind of work, and it's, you know, it's good stuff. But to be honest, stuff you get from random drops is just better, because you haven't really had to spend anything on it. Hello. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you of have. Of course. All right. Ah, eh, nothing too serious. Right. Okay. So we can sell the quarry armor. Sell the quarry armor. Sell, sell, sell. But keep that for later use. Excellent. All right. Back to the ship. And we'll head off to the Artemis Tau cluster. Was it Artemis Tau? Yeah, it's Artemis Tau cluster in the Gnosis system. Uh, we want to go to CSEC. Then we'll go to Therum. To save Liara. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. You're welcome. There we go. Stand by shore party. Decontamination. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. <laughs> I always used to make me laugh. I know it's sort of relieved in a military sense, like, you know, you don't have to do this anymore, you are relieved. But it always just makes me think, like he's just sitting in his cup, like thinking, oh, thank God, she's back. <sighs> you know what? I don't, I'm not cut out for this, you know, I'm really, I'm always happy when she walks back in again. I'm so relieved about that. It's just, that's just what I always think. <laughs> I know that's not what it is, but uh, that's just what I always think when I hear that. Uh, anyway, this is it. I'm not actually going to go down to the planet, not yet. I'll save that for next Monday. So we shall go and save Liara, and we shall do the first of the actual main quest mission places. So that will be good, but that'll have to be for next Monday. But that'll be fine. So, yeah, been a good day today. No problems. We had one crash, Sorry, but that happens. What? What, what now? This is Admiral. Oh. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresham Lord. Ooh. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Cerberus. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Ooh. So hang on, wait, where are we gonna go for that? UNC Cerberus, the Yangtze system in the Voyager cluster. Ooh, maybe I should do that first next time. I definitely don't have time for that now. I've literally got to go. But uh, Voyager cluster, huh? Where's the Voyager cluster? Ooh. Voyager cluster. Have I been there before? Voyager cluster, Columbia. And Yangtze, which I have not been to. Well, there you go then. We will quickly drop into here. Uh, 
Much better. All right, so my watch just beeped six. That means I gotta go. So I will quickly do a quick run through this. Ren Chateau is inert. Been through is where you land. Drag gear has a light metal on it. Um, Patajiri has rare earth if you need it. And Alrunter has some Prothean data disks should you need them too. So aside from that, you just land on Bindu, which we will do next week, I think. So I'll just come out of this. I will save. We will all be good. So yeah, been a good day today. I can't believe it had that crash. You know, I'm convinced I've had that crash before, thinking about it. I have a vague memory that that may have happened in one of my previous playthroughs. But it wasn't a serious one. I'd saved not 60 seconds previous, so it wasn't too bad. Thank you all for watching, everybody. I do hope you have enjoyed this, and I will see you all whenever I next see you. Take care out there, everybody. Bye-bye.